So the first card that I had pulled before I turned on the camera is Intuition and the Reverse. And this is the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. And then I had Autobiography. And then this says Pet Rock, so cute. So the energy that I'm picking up off these three cards is somebody did not use their intuition um, regarding a situation. This person's heart is like a stone and somebody's story is going to be known. We have remember, don't insult the alligator until you get across the river. So something, once it's over and done with, so once you're across the river, once you're out of harm's way, out of your, you know, once you're out of danger, your story is going to be made public and made known. There's something significant about your life story, what happened to you. Um, it could be something that's stranger than fiction. It could be a story that not everyone would believe that happened to you. There's something very significant. Um, and somebody did not use their intuition um, before they thought about doing something to you. And I feel like they're going to end up in prison or jail. Um, and yeah, there's going to be some sort of criminal charges filed. The secret to a good relationship is not having one. So you could be in hermit mode or being celibate at this time. Um, not really focused on a relationship, possibly more on finances. And this could have something to do with what was done to you in the past. A trouble shared is a trouble halved. So there was more than one person involved in this. You could be telling a story about some sort of gang stalking activity, cult activity, mob activity. Um, there's more than one person involved here. Um, your story could um, just, it's, go, it's going to go viral, whoever this message is for. Um, you have inside details to something that nobody else does. You have a specific kind of insight into a situation um, that most people do not. So it's like looking inside the mind of a killer is what I'm getting. This is strange energy, but we're just going to go with the flow. This is a late night read. You know, you never know what you're going to get. It's like Forrest Gump in the box of chocolates. So we're just going to go with it. Um, so I'm hearing life inside the mind of a killer. So um, there's something really crazy and significant that's going on with your story. And um, you're going to get at least 15 minutes of fame is what I'm getting. Um, you're going to be possibly made notorious, um, epic, possibly going down in history for something that is going to be made known. Somebody was really big into um, Halloween and trick-or-treating. It's like, um, not necessarily just like the holiday itself, but the act of doing tricks um, or manipulation. Um, somebody was really big on that and deflating people and taking away their awards or accolades. It's like, okay, so the energies I'm getting is like, okay, if you see... Somebody who's doing well for themselves, whether they're male or female. Um, like somebody famous, and, and I don't mean like a celebrity per se, but somebody who's like a well-spoken person, um, like a public speaker, um, public official, anything like that. So this person, this karmic energy takes pride in tearing that person down piece by piece trick by trick, manipulation by manipulation. Um, it's like mountain climbing. That's the second word, but it's like in reverse. It's like tearing the mountain down. It's like you see somebody who's doing well for themselves and then you strip them apart to um, nothing. So if somebody had some sort of like awards or accolades, um, attention, something like that, it's like somebody takes pride. This sadistic like murderous energy this killer kind of energy i'm picking up on it's like dream crusher dream killer it's like somebody sees someone doing well for themselves and because it's not them and they have some sort of chip on their shoulder and uh, it's like oh god this is crazy that's like this literally is like in the mind of a serial killer this is fucked up this person will tear someone down piece by piece death of a thousand cuts 
pain here, pain there, hitting you from every angle. It's like they tear you down piece by piece until you're nothing. And then once they do that, they hop on a plane, switch towns, switch switch countries, um, uh, goes goes on a little vacation. Um, they go, they target people who fly high, you know, high flyers. Um, not necessarily an airplane is significant. Um, it's the the symbolism of somebody who soars high, somebody who gains attention, somebody who may be famous in their own right, maybe just even in their town. So it's like if someone sees someone, uh, it's hard to explain. This person was a pig. They pride themselves on spotting someone's reputation. So it's like they see someone doing well and they, they tear them down piece by piece. First they take away this. First they take away that. It's like they tear um, away the ego, um, your looks. It's like they start talking shit about you. Um, they start spreading rumors about you. Um, they make people start looking at you funny. They start character assassinating you. And then uh, um, they start purposefully causing harm to your career. Like if you're in a relationship with this person, then they affect your looks. So if you're attractive, if you're a beautiful ballerina kind of, you know, if you're pretty when you get with this person, they affect your looks. They purposefully try to cause allergic reactions. They put stuff in your shampoo. They make your hair fall out. Um, they make you have acne breakouts. Stuff like that. Um, they want you to gain weight. They, um, man. they could even try to convince you to mutilate yourself or they could possibly try to mutilate your body. This is fucked up shit here. <sighs> you could be cleaning up the aftermath with using a mop and juggling. You may be juggling and cleaning up the aftermath of somebody who is ice cold and tried to attach themselves to you. This is somebody that tried to be in a relationship with you and that's how this little situation works. This person, and I'm picking up a masculine energy, um, it's like a woman hater kind of energy, um, especially females are targeted with this. They purposefully find someone who's doing well for themselves, who's attractive. They attack their beauty, their character, their social status. Um, they put them in isolation. It's like they tear them down piece by piece. This is a very sadistic idiot. But they didn't use their intuition because they came for a light worker. So, let's get into this and see what's going on. They fucked with the wrong one. So, let's see. Yeah, you're going to have Ace of Pentacles, a new start and a new beginning because you walked away from this sadistic asshole, whoever this is. Um, they tried to tear you down. They um, attacked your self confidence, your self esteem. They made people look bad about you know at you. They had people treating you funny. Um, they could have even tried to have you arrested. You dodged whatever bullets this person sent your way. I mean, this person did the most. Whoever this message is for, and I want to clarify, this is not going to be for everybody. Very specifically, not for everybody. I can promise you that. Somebody has an offer coming towards them with the Knight of Cups. There's an offer coming towards somebody um, to relieve their heavy burdens. The Ten of Wands. So someone is heavily burdened. Someone, someone wants to come make someone else an offer to relieve their burdens. And this is the Queen of Cups energy. Somebody who does things from a heart space of love. This is the light worker here. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. You can be a masculine and your feminine energy. That's just balance, so let's not get worked up about the gender. It's just the energy that you're in or that's showing up in the cards. So, um, you know, there are women who do this to masculines too. There are women who see a masculine who's doing well for themselves and then by the time they exit the relationship, they're torn down emotionally, physically. It's like they've lost 20 pounds or gained 20 pounds. Um, their skin is all dry. They're going bald. They're going gray. Um, you know, this has a flip side to it, too. So this is not specifically 
um, a man has to do this to a woman. Women do this to men too. It's just a different way of doing it. Um, but the, the very specific channeled message that I got just now, it was very specific um, and, and very disturbing, by the way. Um, but this happens to men and women in relationships. It's like by the time the relationship ends, you don't even recognize yourself anymore because you've been through too much. Um, I'm going to check my Deadpool cards. I haven't done those for a minute. Yeah, this person is a criminal. They're going to be going to jail. So someone is going to be going to jail for attacking a divine femme or divine masculine. Like I said, you dodged every bullet that this person threw your way. You're going to be shaking your ass like some Deadpool twerking and shit. Yeah, you're going to be famous. You're going to be up on a stage. Um, people are going to be hearing your story. They're going to see you. You're going to be doing interviews. This person's going to jail, just like I picked up on at the very beginning. Um, yeah, someone could be getting arrested. This is a career criminal, um, a thief, whether it's a man or woman. There's about to be a lot of drama. Yeah, someone's very dramatic. There could be a dramatic end to this. This is like a fucking Greek tragedy, and I'm not even joking. I mean, I say that, but I mean, this is seriously like a Greek tragedy. Um, this story does not have a happy ending, which, I, you know, I like the happier ones, but I got to read the energy, so. It is what it is. I'm just the messenger. So there was a whole group of people that were in on something that um, this person could have been doing this to. It's like they were, this person was attacking a family piece by piece, member by member, to hurt one specific person in the family. They could have been cult, part of this group or cult. I, I said at the beginning there was some sort of group. There could have been some sort of group or cult or whatever. Um, this is in the reverse. So there was some sort of family organization or organized crime that was involved in this in some way. Ooh. We have the Divine Femme or Masculine here in the upright. Somebody tried to... You're fighting back. You had to fight back. You had to defend yourself. Yeah. You had to defend yourself against some sort of betrayal. Or somebody is going to come and help clean up a betrayal that's happened here. Because somebody had some sort of evidence. Okay, so here's what happened. God damn, this person is really sick. So here we have Deadpool with the phone. This is in the reverse. And then we have him at a food stand getting food. This person is so sick that they put something in someone's food or drink to make them ill or sick or pass out. Like, I'm getting, like, roofy kind of shit. Like, this person made somebody pass out, and they did something and recorded it. There's a recording of something that somebody did after somebody was unconscious. Um, and they also could have picture. Oh, man, this is sick. Mm. This person's really twisted. This person also, um, like, poisons people, like, puts stuff in their food, and actually, you know, this is, like, fetish gross shit. I, don't get mad at me. I hope you're not eating. Please don't be eating right now. Um, this person makes people throw up and, like, records it. It's like they, this person is recording this each step of the way and documenting this. It's very sick and twisted, man. This is sick shit. Um, so, like, this person is torturing somebody or a group or, you know, or family are working to attack one person piece by piece. And they're capturing this all on film with the phone in the reverse with the camera. They're recording this. 
they're recording every single time someone put something in someone's food or drink, when they got sick, when they were unconscious. Um, God only knows what they did to this person while they were unconscious. But there's video evidence of it somewhere. And it's on the dark web with some fetish bullshit, crazy creep show shit. And that's what's going to get this person arrested. Um, this person is sick, like very, very sick and dark. I mean, this is just really gross. But it's like a fetish thing, but it's also, they get, they get an enjoyment out of it. Um, by torturing somebody piece by piece, little by little. Um, it's like tearing someone down bit by bit, slowly poisoning somebody, watching them go downhill, watching them decline, watching their health, watching them get sicker. Um, this person intentionally inf uh, affects someone's health. It's like somebody could have even paid this person to do this to another person, to take them out, but this is how they prefer to do it. Um, you know, they don't like the gun with the silencer just taking you out in a back alley. This person is good. They will bring um, insects in, like exotic bugs, um, and plant them around the house, outside the home, inside the home. Um, they put stuff in your water, in your clothing, um, like itchy powder, stuff like that. Like stuff to make you break out um, and make you ill. Um, so that you break out in sores and get like infections and stuff. I mean, this is really dark, dark. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm tapping into. I don't want to go into this anymore. Let's, let's move on. Let's move along. I don't want to go any further into that. They actually get like exotic bugs and shit and like they use plants and herbs. Like even from the yard, they like, I don't know, there's like a list of plants or flowers or some shit they grind up and put in your steak and shit. I mean, this is sick. They put pesticides in your fucking drink on your meat. I mean, this is sick. Like this person's like intentionally doing everything they can to like cause you cancer, infection. It's like all at once, but little by little. And this person is documenting all along the way. I mean, this is really sick, sick shit, but it's over. This person was obsessed, addicted, addicted. I mean, this is an obsession for this person. This is a sick fucking fetish. They get paid for it. They got paid for a hit. And they get paid for live, um, live streaming it, video recording it, and stuff like that. Um, and posting the pictures to a sick fuck of groups on the internet that watch this shit. I don't know who would sit there and watch another person throw up. That is fucking sick. Or someone dying. Like, it's like... You know in those old school, like, um, oh, criminal minds... You know, where there would, there would be, like, people who would live stream people, like, you know, um, unaliving other people live, like, on, you know, the internet. Like, that's this shit. Like, there's live streams of it, and then there's bits by bits. So there's, like, cameras, listening devices and shit, but then there's, like, specific, like, stills or photos um, or recordings of the person or the, you know, whoever's the target at the time, like, actually getting sick. Like, this is a hitman kind of energy, but... I mean, this is like a, this is a very specialized sick person. I mean, someone went through a lot of trouble to hire this motherfucker. But you have a treasure. You are a treasure. You're going to get your ten of cups. You're going to get your happiness. You survived this somehow. You escaped with all your digits, ten toes down. You still have all your fingers and your toes. This person could have tried to get one of them, they could have even tried to give you, they could have, hmm. this person could have even tried to get you, get your permission from you, after they drugged you, or dosed you with something, they could have tried to convince you to allow them to cut off one of your fingers, or toes, or some crazy shit like that, I mean, that, and it's the God's honest truth, this person did that, to somebody, um, you were under the influence of something, you could have been all damn near unconscious, um, and this person was trying to convince you to let them cut off your fingers or toes or some part of your body, because that is how sick they are. And you know what the next step would have been? They would have had you do it to yourself. 
with a cigar cutter, or they would have done it to you, or conv they would have convinced you to do it. It's like the Hannibal Lecter thing, like, you know, when the dude's, like, eating his brain, like, he's so fucked up and out of it, and his head's, like, open, and he's, like, being fed his own brain or whatever, like, that kind of crazy sh Like, that's the kind of shit this person is into. Like, that is how sick this person is. This person is cannibalistic. They eat, this person eats human flesh. This is sick. You're seen as someone who is held in high honor. Thank God. You may have had to get creative in escaping from this person, but somehow you escaped with all your digits, your toes, whatever. <coughs> there were a lot of illusions created. Queen of Swords energy. Um, somebody could have been in their little bitch energy, creating lies and illusions. Or it could have been, been a female who was lying, but either way, you know, there are men and women who are both into some sick shit, so I'm not going to say it's just down to one gender, but... You know, serial killers typically are men. Just saying. Um, there's going to be a group or community coming together to support you. Of course, you're going to be famous because you dated a serial killer or were married to one. But, you know. Just another day in your life. And I don't mean that as a joke. And I don't mean to say that passive-aggressively. I mean that with you. Yeah. It's just the reality of it. Um, yeah, you're growing something. Whatever you've been working on is growing and manifesting. So, you could have already cut ties off with this person. They're still showing up in your energy. They're still messing with you. They still like letting you know that they're still around. This person is sadistic. That's just how they do. Someone lied about not stalking or being stealthy. The Queen of Swords energy... Um, being sneaky, stealthy, stalking. I mean, this person lied. They stalked you. They targeted you. Um, they learned your likes, your dislikes. They knew how to get in the door, get into a relationship with you. Somebody took your kindness for weakness. Um, we have a masculine energy here showing up as the King of Cups. Somebody who does things from a heart space of love, emotionally balanced. And then we have the Emperor here who is in the reverse. Um, this masculine in the upright, this King of Cups, wants to give their divine counterpart financial stability and security after surviving this fucking hell of a monster. That's just the truth. This emperor in reverse was a tyrant, sadistic fuck who couldn't stop daydreaming about doing horrible, horrible things to a divine feminine. However, you're going to be celebrating. You could be in your five of pentacles now, but you're about to be coming out of that. Um, this emperor in reverse here is actually going into their five of pentacles. This emperor in reverse is going into poverty um, before they go to jail. So they're losing a lot. Um, that's just part of karma. Um, so they're going to lose everything is what I'm hearing before they end up going to prison. So little by little, all the harm that they caused you, little by little, they're losing everything. Um, yeah, they tried to keep people blind to the truth with the two of swords in the reverse. They tried to stop anyone from believing your message of concern. So when you tried to speak out, they, they tried to keep people blind from the truth. So that when you did speak out about it and you did say something and, you know, tried to get the word out to people, they wouldn't believe you. They didn't want anyone to believe your message of concern. But you're seen as the official person. You are a hierophant. You have a spiritual connection to the divine. You are a true spiritual leader. God dang, I'm already 25 minutes in this. Um, and you're showing up as the Queen of Cups. So there's a King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And financial balance is going to have to be restored in a situation. I told you Secret College Society is involved in this shit. Did I not? Someone has some secrets they need to tell. 
someone has no shame they're unapologetic they're not sorry for this this is like what they do i mean that sounds so i'm telling you dark witch or warlock it's just what i do baby it's just what i like this is nothing to this person this is like the average, I mean, that's why it's coming across as very nonchalant. That is just their attitude. It's just like, it's just another day, baby. It's just what I do. Like, and then they come home and kiss their wife like they hadn't been torturing someone or killing somebody all day long. Like, really? Somebody fell for a trap or they're going to, this Dark Witch or Warlock is going to fall for a trap. Um, they're going to take the bait, is what I'm hearing. They owe someone money. This karmic energy, they owe somebody money. They could owe you money. They had a secret lover, but they said they never cheated on you. And that could be what they used to cover up what they were doing. Um, you lied about someone, so they lied about somebody. You're driving me crazy, I can't stop thinking about you. So somebody acted like they couldn't stop thinking about somebody else and cheating on you. They acted like they had another um, lover, but in fact, they were out working. But when I mean working, they were doing this shit, not legit work. I mean, they were doing this cult work. Somebody doesn't need to walk away now, they need to fucking run. There's a betrayal here. A huge betrayal. Someone's going to be found guilty. I'm just going to jump to these cards. I'm running out of time here. Yeah, this person was as slippery as an eel. They're a good liar. They want to kiss and make up with you. They could be showing up on a Wednesday, possibly at nighttime. In the fall. This person is shady as fuck. I have an Aquarius here, and this is a blast from your past. So this is somebody that you escaped from, somebody that you were in a relationship with. They want you backed up against the wall. But you see the writing on the wall, so you're not going to fall for it. They're going to come across as sincere, but you're pure as driven snow. And you're in control of your own life. A Pisces could be significant. This person is very pissed off at you, and they fell way off the wagon. And a Virgo could be significant. Someone is getting their wake up call. This person was not a boss. You're the boss. This person was not the real deal, the real McCoy. They didn't want you to be seen as the boss. They didn't want you to be seen as the real deal either. Um, someone is intrigued about you. How did you survive this? How did you live? That's why your story is going to be made public. You're going to tell the world why and how. This person wanted you to come across as all talk and no action. They wanted you to be seen as lazy, unmotivated. But you get a clean slate, and you're going to be happy as a clam. And you're going to be a rich bitch or sir. There's something significant about July. And somebody thought that there was going to be a silver lining to whatever they did in July. But they're not going to get the payout they thought they were going to get. Sorry to disappoint. Alright, let's pull a few levers. The letter B could be significant, person, place, or thing. T. F. U. But fuck you. <laughs> G. C. 
so bugs are definitely significant. Bugs are significant. Are grubs. Um, larva is significant. You. Like possibly moth larva. Something like that. I. Isn't that from the Silence of the Lambs too? X. This dude's a fucking wannabe serial killer. Only this person really is. Why? I'll do two more. S. And M. Yeah, someone is definitely into S and M. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I'm not going to do it. So we have S M B U F T U I R G X N Y. Okay, I hope this helps, folks. Have a good night.